Hi, welcome to Totally Magic Channel. We provide magic ideas and tutorials for beginners and hobbyists alike. If it is your first time here, then we would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and also the notification bell because we do upload videos every single week. And being a small channel, we really do appreciate those of you that give us a thumbs up and like and even share us. It really helps us out. The trick we've got for you today, I guess could fall into the bracket of a card trick come number mathematical trick. We'll do the performance and then I'll show you how the trick is done at the end of this video. Welcome to a prediction trick and I'd like someone to help me that's got a phone. Bring up your calculator and what I'd like you to do is to punch in any number that's special to you. One I couldn't possibly know. It could be an anniversary of something. It could even be the age of you or a family member. But keep it to yourself. And it can be any number whatsoever. It doesn't matter what the number is. You then talk about a prediction, a premonition you had. And you say, in my wallet I have a premonition. One card. Now, as well as the number that you've put into your calculator that's special, we need three random numbers. Now, some people believe that magicians can kind of subconsciously uh, signal to you to think of certain digits. The most random way of arriving at three numbers will use a deck of playing cards. Now, these are just a regular deck that have been shuffled. Uh, you can get the spectator to cut them. And what we'll do is we'll spread these across the table and you ask them to put their finger anywhere and keep it there. Let's just break the cards at that point. And you ask them to take three or four cards from there. Okay, so they take three or four cards. We're gonna use the numbers on here in our calculation. Now you've got a couple of high numbers there. You've got a 13, a 13 and a 3. What I'd like you to do is to multiply the number that you've got by each of these. So they will then take this and they will multiply by 13, which is the value of a king, times 13 again, and times by 3 equals and they arrive at a random number that nobody could know. You then ask them to add each of the digits together to eventually get to a single digit. So if we add these together we got a 9 and a 1 which is 10, 16, 20, 21. Those digits add up to 21. You then ask them to add those two digits to get to a single digit. 21, 2 and a 1 is 3. An absolute free random choice. You're not going to believe this, but in my wallet all the time is one card and one card only. And it is indeed the three. And that's a great little prediction effect. Practice and enjoy. So here is the secret to how this trick works. Basically, it's a self-worker. It's a mathematical principle. I've got no idea how the ins and outs of it work, but trust me, it just works. Now, I do need to say that the prediction is going to work out to be one of three numbers. It's either going to be a three that they end up with, or it's going to be a six or a nine. And you can probably see how I've got this now. I only have two cards. So I used a little wallet where you can open it up both ways. This is called a, a, a Z-fold wallet. But you can use anything. Uh, uh, maybe have an envelope with both these in. So you'll notice that the clever thing is, is that the three is one of the predictions. Six or nine. So depending which way you display this, you can use it in all of those. But it is always going to be one of those three numbers, a three, a six, or a nine. So let's do the 
card effect. Now, first of all, the number that they punch in at the beginning can be absolutely anything. It can be a single digit, a two digit, three digit, it makes no difference. That number is absolutely free choice. Now, let me just um, clear this and I'm gonna put in any number, let's say uh, 55. Okay, so I put 55 in here. Now, the cards are stacked. And let me just show you what you need to do. So the way that you stack the deck is you need to remove from the cards three, six, nine, and 12, the queens. Okay, so I've removed the four nines, the four sixes, and the four threes. The rest of the cards you can shuffle up. All you need to do is to put two random cards down and then put one of these as the third any two cards down, put one of these as the third. Any two cards, the third one. Any two cards, this one. And you can really mix this up. So we'll go through just adding these, so the two cards, this. What you're trying to do here is to make sure that if somebody took three cards, they would always end up with either a three, a six, or a nine, or a queen in among those. Now you'll notice that I've got some cards left over. Get rid of those. So this will be the pack that you're using. Now it doesn't matter if you cut the cards, you're not gonna disturb the order. But you can guarantee that if you took three cards, one of those cards will be one of our key cards. Three, six, nine, or 12. And there you can see is a six. The other two numbers, when you multiply, you couldn't care less about those. So what I did, I got the pack spread. They chose a particular card, this one here. You then ask them to take three. Now you can get them to take four if you want, but three is enough, otherwise four is just too many. That's it. The other two cards you couldn't care less about. It's just that you've got to have three, six, nine, or 12 in among the three cards. You, as I said, you can pick three or four. Now if I took these and multiply them, so you always multiply them. So remember the number I put in there is 55. Let's multiply that by 11, which is the jack. Let's multiply that by the eight, and multiply that by the 12. Equals, and I've got some huge number, 58,080. But if we add those digits together, so we've got 16, we've got 21. If you then add the two and the one, it gives you three. Whenever you add these numbers to get it down to a single digit, it will either be a three, a six, or a nine. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that mathematical prediction effect. Have a play around with it. You'll have some fun with that. 